if rain is scarce where you are, these tips can help you, I'm sure. So here are some tips to help you save water in your garden and find ways to use alternatives to maize water where possible. Hopefully they will help you if you're going for a week. Um, so collecting rainwater is a simple and effective way to save water in your garden. It's been, ha it's been happening. People have been doing it for years. It is quite an easy process. You can install a rain barrel, um, water butt, drum, whatever you want to call it, anything that holds water. Really, that's how it works. Anything that holds water. Um, you collect rainwater from your house roof, from your sheds, from your garages, any kind of overflow point from rain or any kind of overflow water. You can use it to water your plants, water your garden, everything. All of the above. So the benefits of rainwater is it's free, which is amazing. Besides the setting up point of the thing you've got to store the rainwater in, any guttering systems, things like that, um, watering cans. That's the only outlay you've got to have <laughs> to use rainwater. But basically it's free, which is amazing. And it's free of any chemicals as well, which is, again, really good. Um, so with tap water, you'd have chlorine and fluoride and things like that in, which are used to clean the water make, to make it drinkable effectively taking the nasties out plants don't like those so much can have a, a, a um, negative effect on plant life so rainwater is free of these so much more of a healthier option for your plants we like healthier options where possible most of the time um but if the options are not available what are the alternatives you tell me um let me know in the comments if you have used or thought about using any of the ones i'm coming up with in a second in the past or if you are using them now um, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to see. Alternatives. The alternatives to using mains water and water back water if the rain doesn't show up for you. So we have got a couple here. So cooking water. Water you use to cook your vegetables. Pretty simple, really. Potato water, cabbage water, general veggie water that you use to cook your vegetables in. This is not only a great, um, this is not only great for watering your plants, as it's called, obviously, um, but it's fantastic for feeding your garden as well. So when cooking your veggies, some of the nutrients always gets leached out into the water as they're cooking. It, it's just a matter of the process of the cooking process. Um, so the nutrients get stored um, stored in the vegetables, get leached out into the water. Your plants will make good use of these nutrients, and different vegetables will provide different nutrients as well. If you then use this water to water your plants, the nutrients will transfer through into the soil. So that will feed the soil, the ecosystem within the soil, so all the nutrients and um, all the organisms that live in the soil will get from that feed as well, and it will go up through the roots and into the plant. So that will feed your plants as well as keep them hydrated. So that is, that's a really good multi-use. So the tap water, which has been used to boil your veg, has been then converted and upgraded into a usable and valuable garden feed, helping to hydrate and feed your plants after every meal. <laughs> so one very good use of wastewater. The disclaimer on this one though, um, if you salt your veggies, salt your potatoes and go that, when you're cooking them in the water, don't heavily salt them. I mean, you shouldn't salt them at all in the water. Try and season when you've done, because the, the salt in the water can affect the pH of the soil and then it can affect the health of the plants. So if you're going to use the water on your plants, don't salt beforehand, <laughs> salt after. So the water is clear of salt. Veggie water is really versatile for, as I say, for feed and for watering your plants, um, whatever you're cooking. Cooking wastewater, grey water. So you've heard of grey water, I'm sure. Um, so water taken from washing up, um, washing machines, showers, baths, that kind of thing. So this is very useful in a time of drought, um, but this water, although it can be provided or produced, provided in volumes, especially from a washing machine or a shower or a bath even, um, in volumes, should be used carefully and sparingly. Um, it will still contain sort of detergents and cleaning products as well, so this can damage your plants in large quantities. So this is why you should use it sort of sparingly. Um, if you catch your washing machine on the rinse cycle, it's going to have a lot less chemical in it, if you like, a lot less of the cleaning detergents and cleaning products in it. Um, if you use more of an eco-friendly washing liquid or powder or anything like that, um, that can also break down quite quickly in the soil. So that could be better as well. So there are like flips to this, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, the, if it's standard detergents, like um, pestles and things like that, um, cleaning products, can damage the plants in your garden when you're using it to water um, but the soil can act as a very effective filter as well so that can remove an awful lot of different products chemical detergent products if you like so leaving the water just for your plants to take up again use it sparingly because the soil will store these um, detergents and things as well and then it will affect the ecosystem within the soil 
and then that will affect your plants. The residual products left in the water from the detergents and things can also, on occasion, depending on the products you use and if they're um, not biodegradable, but they're eco-friendly, can actually act as a feed for your plants as well. Um, so giving them a little bit of nutrients as you water, kind of like vegetable water when you're cooking, the cooking water, um, this, they can provide a little bit of nutrients as well. So this can help to support your plants in your garden and the soil that they grow in. So that's good. Mm -hmm.